It wasn't just street, street photographers, we had fashion photographers, we had fine art photographers, documentary photographers, and everyone really had something unique to bring to the table and created, you know, as a whole, a truly phenomenal piece of work. Working within within a single a single block radius and also within a very tight time limit as well. That was definitely a different process for me. Street photography, for me at least, is normally kind of an ongoing flow where you're kind of, you know, you're, you're moving from point A to point B and kind of assessing what you see as you go. And this was more of a, a cyclical thing where you were kind of moving around the same neighborhood again and again and seeing the same characters and the same situations, the same lighting. And that kind of led to its own challenges, but um, it was an enjoyable experience, you know, you, you getting to know a neighborhood a little bit like that. I tried to integrate and absorb the whole place with the type of person I am and uh, at first I found myself photographing a lot of people shopping and eating because it is a lot of shopping and eating here. You're really able to get to know like half the people who live here and you know not only being able to just take photos of them but speak with them, interact with them, talk with them so I feel a lot more connected to the community. I got really lucky that my mom happened to be in town. She's a painter tons of experience in galleries and shows and I kind of grew up in that environment so everything that I make my decisions based off of have come from just years of being around her. It wasn't really about who takes the best photos and put them here or there. It's more about how are you going to feel when you walk around here. I really wanted to you know tell a story. Um, it's two stories to be told. The uh, first series in it was I wanted to show the difference between the beauty aspect and then the edgy, so it's kind of like a passive, aggressive type thing, and then the combination of having the two models together. And the other one, I just wanted to show some edgy fashion in this area and show a lot of the environment. You know, one of the guys came here today, and it was cool, like, he was really slow, because one of the pictures was of him, actually, but the fact that he was, he was pointing out, like, you know, that building, those people that own that building aren't around anymore, and now it's all about, like, just the history behind it, and them seeing the perspective of all the different photographers that took part in this. I wish a lot of them, like maybe a lot of the, the guys here, if they saw these pictures, they'd be probably just as uh, surprised and interested. This is a dodecagon, so making a circle from doing wood. If I had plywood, I'd just cut a curve, but I don't have it. I can find it. I'm trying to do this spider web kind of effect. Thank you so much from all the guys over at Leica. This show wouldn't have been possible without you guys. There's a huge and wonderful turnout for the event. People are really excited and, you know, this is my favorite camera for street photography and I think it is the best tool for the job.